Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another college week in my life. Today is Monday, it is 8.28 a.m. and I am feeling the Monday motivation. I don't have class today until 10.30 and I'm about to leave now. I'm gonna go see my professor during her office hours. I just have a few questions that I've been saving up while I was studying last night. I was in the library until 10.30 p.m. last night. So proud of myself. I was actually really not feeling well yesterday. I ended up having to call out of work, but as the day went on, I started to feel a little bit better, so I didn't let it be a completely wasted day. I went and got some studying done. I did a college week in my life last week, and a lot of you guys seemed to enjoy it. I did go to question if I was a nursing major, and that's not the first time that someone asked me that. I'm actually a pre-PA major. If you watch my to know me video which is way back in my videos because I did it in like July you'll find out some more information about me but essentially I tell you guys my major in that video um, but I'm doing the pre PA route so I'm doing like health science right now just to get the prereqs done so that I can go to PA school just wearing a college t-shirt tied in a knot with these denim shorts from American Eagle and my off-brand Birkenstocks. So I've already kind of planned out my week yesterday. I have AMP today and then at 2 o'clock I have a tutoring appointment and then at 3.30 I have to go to the math lab. So I'm going to be at school for a while today. I just got on campus and I am actually shocked that I got a decent parking spot. I'm like right at the front of the giant dirt lot at our campus. I feel like because it's the fourth week in the semester, people are starting to like die down and not care as much and not go to class. I just made it back home and I didn't really vlog much when I was at school today. I studied in the library for a little bit this morning, then I went to class, then I went and previewed my material for college algebra, and I wrote down some practice problems, and I met with the tutor who was amazing by the way. I feel so much better. I'm setting up ongoing tutoring once a week with her, and essentially I'll just sit down with her for an hour every week and she can help like elaborate on concepts that I don't understand. So helpful, I actually have faith in myself now. I know I'm probably not gonna do the best on the first test because it's literally tomorrow and I'm just now realizing that I need a lot of extra help. Um, but I think moving forward, like I have a good solid plan with the tutoring, hopefully I'll do better. I'm gonna have some of this trail mix from Publix and take like a 20 minute break and then I have to finish up my college algebra homework because it's due at 10 a.m. which is like a few hours before class. So I'm just gonna get it over with tonight because I have my 7.30 a.m. tomorrow. Love that. Chad made us a crock pot roast for dinner. I am so excited. It looks delicious. It smells so good. Thank you. Hope it is good, you will. So I just finished eating dinner. The rest of my night's gonna be sitting here studying for college algebra. I'm just gonna do the same concepts over and over and over again with a bunch of different practice problems until I am like continuously getting it right every single time. What's up guys, it's Tuesday. I have not updated you guys at all today. My exams went really well. I had two exams this morning, back to back. Then I had a three hour break, and then I had my college algebra exam. The anatomy and physiology exams, I had my practical and like my lecture exam. Both of those I feel pretty confident about. I have literally spent every waking second of every single day for the last two weeks studying. So I know that like I did well. College algebra, mm, another story. Um, <laughs> as you know, I just set up tutoring, so hopefully things will go better like for the next test. But I'm doing all I can do. And I was shocked because there were like a few equations on there that I was able to solve and I was pretty proud of that. But I ended up running out of time. She was like, it's time to turn in your test guys. Like, let's go. And I was like, are you serious? I think I had like four problems that I just had to leave blank and it's short answers, so they're like automatic zeros. Other than that, I'm having a great day. I went to Sephora after school. I'll show you guys really quick what I got. Yeah, I got out of class and I was like, I need to go to Sephora. Today was stressful, three exams. So I picked up a new foundation. I decided to try this Bare Minerals Bare Pro and she color matched me to the color natural and what the heck is that? I just really wanted to get a new foundation that would be good for me when I don't spray tan because like I haven't been spray tanning every single week like I did over the summer and so my foundation's like too dark for the rest of me when I don't spray tan. I also picked up another NARS Climax. This is like my favorite mascara of all freaking time and I have been like way overdue to get a new one. So I'm really glad that I got a new one. 
And then, last but not least, I finally picked up the translucent Laura Mercier setting powder. I have been using the Airspun powder, which is not a freaking dupe. I hate the smell of it, and it makes my face look white. So I was just like, I ran out of this a while back, and I like had not had a chance to buy it. So I was just dealing with that, but it sucked. And also, today is day three of me using no heat on my hair. You guys know I got my hair done last week. I had it dyed a little darker for the fall, and then like some, I guess this is like balayage, just some like lighter brown pieces so that it would look good for fall. I don't know. You can't really see it now because it's not curled. Um, but I've been really trying to put less heat on it all together and washing it less too so today is day three of me just like this is how it is after it dries when i get out of the shower so it's just pretty much straight um it looks better when i straighten it which is why i still straighten it because it just like makes it look smoother and softer but at the end of the day i'm like i'm literally going to class i don't care what anyone in there thinks about me so it just makes sense to not put the heat on my hair as frequently as i do and chad and i are making tacos for dinner tonight and i couldn't be more excited i'm gonna have an angry orchard tonight I have so much weight lifted off my shoulders because all three of my exams are done for now. I mean, obviously I have more coming, but like for now I can breathe and feel so good. Okay, got the whole setup here. Some fresh romaine, Mexican cheese blend, sour cream, taco meat, rice, beans, tomato, corn tortillas, and crunchy tortillas. Okay, it's almost 10. We're gonna have some of our fancy Norman Love chocolates. We only have five left. What is this one? I'm not sure. I think it's strawberry cheesecake. Hmm. Oh yeah, that is what that one is. This is our dog. We tuck him in every night. He's at peace right now. Okay, we're gonna watch Breaking Bad for a little bit and then we're gonna go to sleep because I have to wake up at 4.45 a.m. for work tomorrow. And Chad has to wake up at like five something because he's on shift tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow if I make a clip. <laughs> Good morning, guys. It's 6.07 a.m. I'm about to leave for work in like five minutes. I'm going to get a coffee this morning from Starbucks. So I don't know what I'm going to get, though. Hmm. Printing off my AMP lab slides so that while I'm at work, if there's a second, I will try to make some flashcards. We'll see. I just got home from work and I am so beat. I didn't even get anything done today. Like I said, fingers crossed. I really hope I can get something done. I think I jinxed myself because it was crazy busy. I didn't get anything done. Tomorrow's going to be crazy too though because I have an appointment in the morning and then I have SI from 1030 until like 1150 or something like that. And then I have class at 130. So I have like a small break in between. Um, but I think I'm just gonna hang out tonight and watch The Bachelor. I was gonna try to get some of my notes done, but I just feel so drained. Working 12 hour shifts like kills me sometimes. guys it's thursday don't mind what my hair looks like this is like day four hair so i just like threw it up in this bun i put a bunch of dry shampoo in it but it's like not working at this point but i told you i'm trying to wash my hair less so we are sticking to it but yeah i have si in like 30 minutes i was supposed to go on campus early today but i didn't <laughs> i got up at seven i made my coffee and then i laid down on the couch and i was just like zoned out for a long while and then i got up and started getting ready and it was already like too late for me to get there early so whatever i'm going to si then i have a few hour break that i'll work on my chapter 20 notes and then i have college algebra at 1 30. I'm back home now I've actually been home for a while I took my makeup off when I got home and Chad and I just took like a two-hour nap not intended we were gonna take like 45 minutes to an hour and then we both just kept hitting our snooze button and long story short now it's four o'clock I'm not proud of it but I am gonna have a really productive night because that happened <laughs> we're gonna go get some coffees and then I'm gonna come back home Chad started dinner we're doing just like a crock pot meal so it's super easy tonight and then I think I'm gonna go back to FGCU tonight because there's math tutoring and I really need some extra help um, it's from six to eight so 
Beach chat's already gonna be gone during that time, so I think it'd be worth going. I'm just mentally exhausted. I feel like doing nothing when I have a lot to do. Does that happen to anyone else? I'm making some jasmine rice to go with our dinner tonight. We're having like this Asian crock pot chicken and I'll show it to you guys when it's done. So here is the final product. It's so good. It's just like this Asian sesame chicken and then we put like sesame seeds on top and serve it over rice. Okay, so I just ate dinner. I'm gonna head to school now. I wasn't gonna go, but I really think I need to because I'm just not as productive when I'm at home. I don't know. I feel like I just need to be surrounded in that space where everyone else is working and it like motivates me. Um, plus I love going to the library at night. Like no one's on campus. I mean, there's a few people, but nothing like during the day. But I'm not allowed to have any more coffee because I already had like my second coffee earlier with Chad when we went out. So I'm not gonna do that. I decided I would make a mint green tea. I'll show you guys the green tea that I'm using right now. Um, it's really good. It's like a very mild mint because I don't want anything that's like super strong. I know the Starbucks like mint tea is very minty and that's just like too much for me. So I really like this one. It's like very mild. To start my water to get hot. Get my coffee tumbler. I can't remember where I got this. I feel like I got it from Target, but it's really cute. It's like this marble design. So here's the green tea. It's just Bigelow green tea with mint. It is so subtle and it does have caffeine in it, but it's like a mild caffeine. It's nothing like crazy. And caffeine from tea is definitely better than from coffee. back home again it's 10 30 i'm having a bowl of cereal i really shouldn't be eating this late but i came home and i was like starving studying makes you so hungry but after this i'm going straight to bed so i will talk to you guys in the morning Good morning guys, today is Friday and I am in a super good mood. I don't know, I just got a lot of sleep last night and I just feel ready for the day. At 10.30 I am meeting with one of the girls in my A&P class and we got a study room together so we're just gonna hang out and go over the material for chapter 20. I'm really excited to see how this goes because normally I always study by myself. I never study with anyone else, I just prefer it that way. But I'm looking forward to kind of seeing how her and I work together because she's really sweet and I think that we could bounce ideas off each other and kind of teach each other things. This chapter we have to memorize all the veins and arteries of the entire body. So it's really daunting and I think it might be helpful to just kind of go through that with someone else. So I'm gonna grab something to eat and then we're gonna head out the door because I'm trying to get there a little bit early so I can start going over this stuff before she even gets there. So I have like some kind of background. Just filled up my water bottle and I am having one of these multi-grain English muffins with some of my organic spreadable butter. Okay, I just got on campus, I am Deciding whether I want to get a coffee now or wait until I meet with Lynn to study. Okay, it's nine now So I think I'm gonna wait until like right before we go to the study room. So I'm just gonna go to the library right now I've been home for a while now. I'm sorry. I did not vlog at all at school It was so productive though Like I was just in the zone so focused on studying We made a bunch of different diagrams on the whiteboards and we practiced all of our labeling and I'm just like so glad that I went But now I'm going to get a two-mile run in at the gym I haven't gone in a little while and I used to run like three times a week So I'm excited to go and just get a good run in and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna keep studying Got my water and keys. Let's go got out of the gym I am drenched in sweat I didn't end up making my two mile goal which is what I had been doing over the summer I end up only doing 1.5 miles so I just started getting really bad cramps and like I was watching my breathing and they would not go away so I just had to stop um, but either way I got a good workout in so now I I feel good about it I am back home now and I'm gonna hop in the shower really quick and then I'm gonna sit down and come up with a serious game plan for the rest of the night because tomorrow Alyssa and I are hanging out and we're gonna have like a pool day we had talked about doing a little bit of shopping tomorrow because neither of us have got any new clothes or anything in a while so tomorrow is going to be kind of a fun day but in order for me to actually enjoy that i need to be productive for the rest of the night so even though it's friday that's my life. So this is pretty much my Friday night. I'm just gonna be studying. There's really not that much more to vlog, but thank you guys so much for watching my college week in my life. And if you guys are not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.